Hi folks, welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back. This is my first official podcast. I'll be on Spreaker and other podcast websites. Um, any of you that are hearing this on podcast channels, please go to YouTube to my John Cordisco slash Cordisco's Corner channel if you want to see some of the graphics. The topic today is not a fun one. Is Civil War coming? I think it looks that way. It's creeping closer. Well, John, creeping closer doesn't mean it's here. The Democrats are doing everything in their power to make sure that that comes about. They think they have the upper hand. They have the presidency, House of Representatives, a small, tiny majority in the Senate. They have control of all of social media. 90% of cable news, they believe the military. That, I'm not so sure of. But definitely the vast majority of the intelligence services, NSA, FBI, and other government agencies. What they're doing is they're purging their enemies. And this was what happens in third world countries. And it's incredibly dangerous, especially to a country like the United States. They're pushing basically the repeal of the Second Amendment. Your First Amendment rights are being not slowly taken away, but just smashed with a hammer. And this can lead nowhere but to disaster in civil war. I think what they've done is the Democrats, when President Biden speaks, when he touts vaccines and, and many other topics, he's not speaking to over 80 million people at all. And he knows this. And nor does he care what over 80 million people think. And that is a formula for disaster. It's incredibly arrogant, number one. But the main thing that it is, is dangerous. Majority rules, right? We're in a democracy. Well, we're not. We're in a republic. And there's a good thing, good reason why we're in a republic. The tyranny of the majority. Democrats see their hold on power as tenuous at best. They see it coming that if we lose the House of Representatives and the Senate, it's over for them. And like a wounded animal, it will lash out. It's doing everything it possibly can to survive. Because after the midterms next year, if things don't go sideways, i.e. challenging dozens and dozens of congressional races, the Democrat Party as they know it today, the progressive wing of the Democrat Party, which is really the Democrat Party because they're in control of the rest, will disintegrate. It's Sad, it's potentially much bigger than the American Civil War in the 1860s. And John, how could you possibly say that? Over 650,000 Americans died. We weren't a world power back then. We didn't have the largest economy in the world. We didn't have the biggest military in the world then. We didn't have hundreds and hundreds of nuclear weapons then either. And you can see the signs coming. All the dictatorships, whether it be China, that killed, some estimates, 80 to 90 million people. Russia slash Soviet Union, which killed between 40 and 60 in some estimates. The killing fields in Cambodia, and you can name place after place after place. The first thing they do is they control the media. And that's what's happening now. Now, they don't have 100% of it, but they have 100% of social media. And that's a huge deal. Now, people are asking, is social media cooperating with the government? Or is the government dictating to social media what to say and do? I think it's underhanded. I think they're dictating them with a wink and a nod. If you don't do what we tell you, We'll change laws and destroy your companies. And plus the fact that social media heads, CEOs, are very left-leaning progressive. So they're happy to do it. All of this is about subjugating the rights of the 80-something million people that they don't want to vote. 
that they don't want to have a say. This is what the founders were deathly afraid of. They were deathly afraid of the tyranny of the majority. Madison talked about it continuously. What do we have going on now? So-called insurrection on January 6th. We have people just stood in doorways and just walked around the hallway taking selfies with Capitol Police and been in jail for months and months and months. Did you get a trespassing ticket if you destroyed nothing, you hurt no one, and just acted like a fool? Yeah. But that's not what's happening. An individual just recently got sentenced to eight months in federal prison just for walking in the chamber. Now they're going after people that are outside the Capitol building. A DEA agent is now being charged with standing on a monument unlawfully and could face up to 15 years in jail just for exercising his First Amendment right. It's insane. The spying that's gone on, look at Tucker Carlson. Whether you like Fox or like Tucker Carlson is immaterial. They unmasked him. He was in negotiations or his, his production company was to have an interview with Vladimir Putin. That's more than reasonable for a newscast. That's an amazing interview if you could get it. And when they were caught up in the spying on the foreign national that was negotiating with Tucker and his team and Fox, they unmasked Tucker because he was in on the text and the phone calls as well. Unmasking him is dangerous. That means someone in the intelligence agency doesn't care about the law, doesn't care about the Constitution, doesn't care about the Bill of Rights. Luckily, someone in the intelligence service gave Fox and Tucker Carlson the heads up and he exposed it before it leaked out and became public. And that's the other thing. These strategic leaks from intelligence agencies, we saw it through all the years with Trump and now we're seeing it after. Do you think they're going to stop just because Trump is gone? No. Our Constitution is slowly but surely being torn to shreds. They are actually using government agencies, the Democrats, to spy on their political rivals. That is what banana republics in third world countries do. Is there a way out of this? I really don't know. I really and truly don't know. But I know one thing that would stop it dramatically. The progressive Democrats, you're not going to stop. Your ideology controls you. It's everything you are. You're never going to stop. The other 70 or 80% of the Democrats in this country, whether they be elected officials at the local, state, or federal level, or just registered Democrats in general, you represent 70, 80% of the Democrat Party. I know a lot about how the Democrat Party thinks. I was a local elected official in upstate New York as a Democrat. I left the party in 2013. The majority of you that are watching the progressives run your party now and take over government, you need to step up. You need to tell them no. You need to tell them we will vote you out if you don't back off. And I feel they're not going to back off. And I feel the Democrats are going to be crushed next year in the midterms. And that is going to start a chain of events that maybe really and truly won't be able to be stopped. Just like the secession movement in 1860. When South Carolina went. It was out of the blue. It was talked about for decades. Even the Northeast and New England tried to secede at one time. It's something that people talked about for a long, long time, but never did. And once South Carolina left, or tried to leave, the other states came one after another, after another, after another. And nothing could seem to stop it. The road to war was inevitable, and we all know what happened. The American Civil War is one of the most talked about Events in U.S. history. Millions of people love to research it, talk about it, have their opinions. But I'm afraid that if the majority of Democrats that really are the Democrat Party of old 
do not put a stop to the progressives to tell them to back off. I fear civil war is coming. I believe it will be regional. I live in upstate New York in a deep, deep blue state, just like Northern California or Southern Illinois. They're deep red areas, and I'm afraid there's going to be pockets of resistance. When I say resistance, I'm afraid it might be violence or it might just get to a point where certain counties, certain states are just going to say, we're not going to follow these federal laws anymore. We're not going to fight. We're not going to let illegals go. We're not going to confiscate people's guns. It's against the constitution. We're not going to censor people. And then the regional conflicts will start. And God only knows what it will go from there. I'll leave you with a quote that was supposedly said by John Quincy Adams during the Amistad trial when they were afraid a civil war was coming. And he said, if this brings about civil war, then to let it come and let it finally be the last battle of the American Revolution. Democrats, you're the un-American people. The blue states are the rebellion. The blue states really are the secessionists. The blue states are the anti-constitutionalists. Wake up before it's too late. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.